What's up, everybody? Ryan Pulis here from the Pulis Group. We're a tax and accounting firm specializing in tax planning for real estate investors and small business owners. In this video of our small business tax and accounting series, we're going to discuss debits and credits and the difference between accrual and cash basis accounting. <clears throat> we'll start with debits and credits. Knowing the debits and credits is key to understanding how your bookkeeping works. The debits and credits refer to the two sides of every accounting entry. Accounting is based on a double entry system where every transaction has a debit side and a credit side, which must balance. Every transaction has at least one debit and at least one credit, and the total debits must equal total credits. A debit increases assets, expenses, and owner distributions. Credits will decrease these same accounts. A credit increases liabilities, income, and owner contributions while debits will decrease these, about, these accounts. <clears throat> Let's look at a few examples. So here we have a few examples on this screen. Notice the debits are always on the left-hand side and credits are always on the right. In the first sample transaction, we're paying $100 cash for office supplies. We'll debit supplies expense. Remember, debits increase expenses and credit cash. Cash is an asset and credits decrease assets. In our second transaction, we invoice a customer $1,000. The debit is to accounts receivable, increase in an asset, and the credit is to income, increase in income. The third transaction, the client pays the $1,000 invoice. So we'll debit cash, increase an in asset, and credit accounts receivable, decrease an asset. <clears throat> the next slide, we have a couple more examples to look at. So in example four, we record a bill for next month's rent of $500. The debit is to rent expense, debits increase expenses, and the credit is to accounts payable. Credits increase liabilities. Finally, in example five, we pay that rent bill. The debit is to accounts payable because debits decrease liabilities, and the credit is to cash, a decrease in an asset. Now let's talk about cash versus accrual basis accounting. The main difference between cash basis and accrual basis is timing. Over the life of your business, accrual and cash income will be the same. For a particular, particular year, they will differ due to timing differences, but in the very long term, everything's gonna come out to be the same. What is cash basis? The cash basis recognizes revenue, <clears throat> and expense when cash is received or spent. So when cash is received, you recognize income. When you spend cash on an expense, you recognize it when the cash is paid. If you're spending with a credit card, the expense is recognized when the credit card is charged. Cash basis is easy to use, but it's not as reliable as accrual. For example, if you're paid $10,000 in May to perform work that's gonna run through May, June, and July, the cash basis is gonna show $10,000 of income in May, but zero in June and July, which is misleading. The accrual basis recognizes revenue when it's earned rather than received and recognizes expense when incurred rather than when paid. For example, if you perform work of $5,000 in June but are not paid until August, the accrual method recognizes the $5,000 of income in June when it was earned where the cash basis would not recognize that until August when it was paid. Now, let's say your electric bill is sent to you quarterly. The first quarter covering January, February, and March is paid in April. On the accrual basis, the expense is recognized ratably over the three months. So one third is recognized each month, assuming the amount's the same month to month. The cash basis wouldn't show an expense until that bill was paid in April. So which is better, cash or accrual? Really, it depends. I know it's not a great answer, but it's gonna depend on your business. Cash is better for smaller businesses, businesses with no inventory and service-based businesses. Accrual is better for larger businesses, businesses with inventory and complex businesses. So to recap, debits and credits are key to double entry accounting. Debits increase assets and expenses while decreasing liabilities and equity. 
Credits increase liabilities, equity and income, and decrease assets and expenses. Cash basis of accounting recognizes revenue when cash is received and recognizes expenses when cash is paid. The accrual basis recognizes revenue when earned and expenses when incurred. That about wraps up our discussion today on debits and credits in the cash first accrual basis of accounting. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to comment below and hit the like and subscribe button. We're always taking on new clients, and if you'd like to work with us, then hit us up on our webpage at thepulisgroup.com forward slash contact. That's T-H-E-P-U-L-I-C-E-G-R-O-U-P dot com forward slash contact. Thank you and have a great day.